When I was 10 years old, I owned the entire Dragon Ball GT DVD set, and when I got it, I couldn't stop watching it. I enjoyed almost everything about it, and it was one of the starting points of my Dragon Ball adventure. The Black Star Dragon Ball Saga is easily one of my favorite sagas in GT. The idea of traveling around the universe to collect all seven Black Star Dragon Balls in one year before the Earth explodes is a wonderful concept. This is also one of the reasons why I hold Star Twinkle pretty cure to a high regard. Traveling the universe to collect all 12 Star Princess pins is phenomenal. I said this many times, but I absolutely love astronomy. To this day, I hold GT in a special place in my heart. From the music, to the sagas, to the fight scenes, etc. And then we have the Super Saiyan 4 transformation. This is one of the most iconic Super Saiyan forms of all time and is also top 5 for my favorite Super Saiyan forms of all time. Dragon Ball GT is awesome. You may not like it and that's okay, but for me, I like GT a lot. So why am I talking about GT at the beginning of a Sparking Zero video? Well, in my first Sparking Zero video, I stated that the absence of GT was really concerning. And I also stated that it's been a staple to the Sparking series that all the shows must be presented and goddamn did people run with the fact that the developers are saving GT for DLC. As well as people saying they're only focusing on the canon stuff which is ridiculous. Not to mention the amount of drama that's been happening these past few days, which I'll talk about later. However, the second last character trailer really proved people wrong. Really though, my size has nothing to do with this. I'm stronger than I've ever been. <laughs> I am so relieved and I am so happy. It was starting to look a little spooky considering we had 25 slots left, but man did they play this smart. They were saving this for the right time. So hats off to Bandai and Spike Chunsoft for this. And the characters they picked for GT were genius. Of course we have GT Goku, and I see the GT label next to Pan's name, even though all the other characters have the same label. Could this be confirmation that we'll get Pan from Superhero as DLC? I hope so. Then we have Super Saiyan GT Goku, as well as Baby Vegeta. We got Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku, and of course the second two forms of Baby. But then we get to Oob and Majub, and the main man himself, Super Saiyan 4 GT Goku. And to cap off the baby saga, we got Grade 8 Baby. The last four characters are Sen Shenron, Omega Shenron, Super Saiyan 4 GT Vegeta, and finally Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. This is a solid number of GT characters, 15 of them to be exact. And yes, I'm well aware that Super 17 is missing from the list, but I'm sure they'll save the rest of the GT characters as DLC. I'm just happy to see GT in the base roster and not just Z and Super. And it is a wonderful sight to see people who thought otherwise be proven wrong. Lesson learned, don't assume what's not going to be true. Now for the final character trailer, the last six Super characters were revealed for the base roster. The Frieza Force Soldier, Kaba in base form, Super Saiyan, and Super Saiyan 2. As well as Frost, and Toppo, God of Destruction. We also got Teen Goku from OG Dragon Ball, and while I am a bit bummed out about the lack of OG Dragon Ball characters, at least we got nearly every form of Goku in the game, and who knows, maybe they'll save OG Dragon Ball for DLC. And of course, we have Z Broly in base form, Super Saiyan, and Legendary Super Saiyan. However, they played people like fools for the next part. <laughs> As if having GT in the game wasn't enough, they pulled a Deus Ex Machina on us, revealing almost all of the movie characters. Cooler in his base form, Cooler Final Form, and Metal Cooler. We got Android 13 and Super Android 13. Super Garlic Jr. from Dead Zone, Dr. Wheelow from The World's Strongest, Lord Slug as well as his giant form, Turles from The Tree of Might, Bojack, and full power Bojack, Hirudagon and Tapion from Wrath of the Dragon, Janemba and Super Janemba, and finally, we got Super Gogeta. And as for the bonus character, it's Goku from Dragon Ball Daima. 
So instead of having 164 characters, we are now looking at a 182 character roster. Now this is how you do a character roster. Characters from Z, Super, GT, and the movies are so amazing to see. There's no doubt about it when I say this. We won. We actually won. Like, what more do I need to say? And the fact that we're getting even more characters for DLC is insane. Easily the biggest character roster in a fighting game. This has been a really phenomenal year of character trailers and promotions. Bandai have really outdone themselves by promoting the game like crazy. We're almost to launch day and already it's becoming the top seller on Steam. This game might actually have multiple slots in the game awards. I'm still not paying $70 for the game though, but I will eventually get it when it goes on sale. And even though the assholes finally shut their mouths after being proved wrong, there's still a larger elephant in the room to address. And I think some of you might know what I'm talking about. Just like how you know what I'm about to say, which is leaving a like on the video and if you're enjoying it so far, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to join the Star Nation. It's not surprising to see drama between smaller content creators and larger content creators. It happens all the time. It's been a common thing. However, Sparkin Zero is the last game I expected to have that kind of issue, and unfortunately, it couldn't escape it. There have been some anger coming from the smaller content creators, believing that it's unfair that the larger content creators not only get early access to Sparkin Zero, but also early information about it as well. And for the most part, I can understand where they're coming from. It does suck to see the bigger content creators have access to play the game early before its release. If anything, Bandai should have hooked everyone up with a worldwide demo. That way, everybody can give their feedback on what's good and what can be approved on. However, I want you as a small content creator to put yourself in the shoes of a large content creator. If you're someone who has over a half or even a million subscribers and was given the opportunity to promote a game from a video game company, you are going to take that chance. There's no doubt about it. You have to understand that these larger content creators grinded their way to the top and they deserve their flowers. But this isn't the biggest issue they have. It's more so than believing that there's no chance of making it because of the larger content creators taking up most of the content. And in some ways, I can understand that as well. However, that does not mean there's no hope for you to blow up. You gotta look into what other creators are doing and try to do a different spin on it. Or find what the larger creators are not doing and jump onto that. And the way you gotta look into it is not just by having fun, but also to look at it as a way of passion and making money. You gotta have the drive for wanting to make content. And I mean a variety of content, cause it's not gonna get you nowhere if you continuously make content off of one game, especially if that game is going to die out. And Slow Plays is a good example of that because he relied too much on Xenoverse 2, even though that game was running out of hype. We were more focused on other Dragon Ball games, Fighters, Kakarot, and even Dragon Ball in Fortnite. And yes, I'm well aware that he covered that. However, he, as well as Burko and Super Saiyan Cabby 28, ran Xenoverse 2 down to the ground to the point where barely anyone is watching their content, even after jumping on the Spark and Zero train. They relied too much on one game when they could have had the opportunity to make content on other games at the time of their peaks. And that's something you gotta avoid. Spark and Zero is going to be an amazing Dragon Ball game and the absolute successor to Budokai Tenkaichi 3. But please don't rely too much on one game as your source of exposure. Make variety content make content that's gonna last take time to do research on what you should do and how to execute it properly and you'll have a shot at garnering both attention and fan base that will tune into whatever video you make i know i have a lot of work to do because i want to succeed just like the other smaller content creators to all of you who are watching i want you guys and gals to come on this journey with me as i make my way up there with other content creators big or small and if you want a full summary of the whole drama, check out Makai Saiyan's channel. He's not only recorded the whole conversation between the larger content creators like Afro Senju, Rhyme Style, Sacred Almighty, and many more, but he also made two videos covering the drama. So I highly recommend you check those out 
And I also recommend you check out his channel as well. He makes great content on Dragon Ball as well as Bleach. To fully wrap this up, I will say this. We all as Dragon Ball fans should be in this together and wanting this game to be game of the year. It is already breaking records before release day and I'm hoping it has a successful launch day. Spark and Zero is going to last for a very long time and you can bet that when I get the game, I will be making content off of it. Who knows, maybe when I think about getting PlayStation Plus again, I might do some collabs with fellow content creators. So if you somehow feel worried about how the game will turn out, I think now is the time for us to put those worries aside. I'm just hoping it completely destroys Universe 2 because I think it ran its course for far too long and it's already about to be on its 8th anniversary. Actually, speaking on Xenoverse 2, I think that game should have a video of its own. So again, make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and for my next Dragon Ball video, maybe we can talk about that. But until then, this is Star the Protagonist signing out. As always, Goki Genyo, and have a startastic day, everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notifications on to join the Star Nation. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter, and while you're at it, check out my previous video. Now.